In this video, we'll look at the oxidation states or oxidation number for aluminum, for Al. So just looking at aluminum, we can see that this is what we call a free element. It's just Al. So if we have a free element, the oxidation number is going to be zero. So the oxidation number right now, just on aluminum by itself, that's zero. Now when aluminum bonds to things, we'll have different oxidation numbers. Probably the most common is when we have aluminum with a plus three oxidation number. For example, Here's aluminum oxide. So if we look at aluminum oxide, we can figure out this oxygen here. We just go down and here's oxygen. And oxygen's always minus two, except with fluorine or peroxides. So here, oxygen's gonna be minus two. So three times minus two, that equals a minus six. So for this to be a neutral compound, to have an overall charge of zero, which it does, this is gonna have to be two times something that gives us plus six. 2 times plus 3, that'd give us plus 6. So plus 6 and minus 6, those will cancel out. We'll have a net charge of 0. So Al2O3 has aluminum with an oxidation number of plus 3. Let's take a look at another one. Here we have aluminum oxide, AlO. We said oxygen is always going to be a minus 2. So here, aluminum has to be plus 2. So in this case, aluminum has a plus 2 oxidation number. One more. For aluminum hydride, we have to look up hydrogen, which is normally plus one. But when hydrogen is bonded to metals, and aluminum's a metal, we're gonna have a minus one charge. So here the hydrogen, that's minus one, and the aluminum, that's gotta be plus one. So these add up to zero, because it's a neutral compound. Those are some of the oxidation numbers for aluminum. Again, the most common, that's gonna be the plus three. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.